Battle for the Little Brass Bell in Wheaton this year. It's on the Thunder sideline to start the game for the first time in five years. Linebacker Brett Anderson and QB Jordan Roberts leading Wheaton's defense and offense respectively. Spencer Stanek leads the CCIW in passing yards per game to 269. Let's jump six minutes into the game. Wheaton working on its second series, and it's a good one. Nine plays and 80 yards culminates in this Roberts TD run from 33 yards out. Extra point miss, 6 0 Thunder. Cards don't waste time when they get the ball back. Stanek finds Sorensen near the left hash for a gain of 26. Ryan Kent moves North Central well into the red zone with this 16 yard run, 97 yards in the day for him. Next play, a simple slant to Chad O'Kane for the North Central TD, 7 6 cards. Six minutes into the second quarter, NCC threatening again, standing to the big tight end A.J. Thomas for a gain of 18 yards. North Central continues to throw. Good blocking on the outside gives Stanek time to find Sorensen tiptoeing on the Wheaton three-yard line. And if you've seen a lot of North Central this year, this play might seem familiar. Another fade to Sorensen is good for the touchdown, 14 to six cards. North Central's defensive line got pressure on Roberts all afternoon but he was very good at moving around in the pocket. Here he locates Matt Mitchell for the first down and 15 yards tacked on with a penalty. 50 seconds left in the half, Wheaton going for it on fourth and one. They get the one yard and a bit more. Jesse Geary to the house to tighten things up at the half, 14 to 13 North Central. It only takes North Central two and a half minutes to put points on the board in the third quarter. Sorensen from 36 yards out, 21 to 13 NCC. Then North Central's defense starts to take over. Alex Tripp credited with this sack, seven tackles on the day for him. Then Michael Montrubio joins the party, free release on the strong side for the sack. NCC's offense follows suit. Third and nine isn't a problem, standing to Thomas over the middle for a first down. Later, Stanek gets great protection in the pocket, puts the ball only where Thomas can catch it on the near side. Next play, Wheaton's zone defense gets confused, leaves O'Kane wide open for a second touchdown of the day, fifth of the year. 28-13, North Central. Fourth quarter now, Wheaton needs a few scores, and they almost get him. Here's Robert slinging down the sideline for his running back, Jacob Fernari, broken up by Montarubio. Later, Roberts forces one into a tight spot. Hunter Thorson his intended target, but it falls incomplete. Thunder have to settle for a field goal. North Central uses that to its advantage. 16-play drive capped off by another Sorensen touchdown grab, this one from 19 yards out. He has five in the last two weeks. 35-16 is your final. North Central takes back the little brass bell. Ever since last year, we've had a set bad taste in our mouth and everything we've done in the offseason, um, in summer, spring, um, even camp up to this point has been for right now, this moment. So right now, it's just awesome. I mean, it's kind of inexplainable. Uh, it's, we've been talking about it for, you know, the last year pretty much about beating Wheaton and getting the bell back for us. And, you know, for the seniors, it's, it's always good to go out on top in the conference and stuff like that. And uh, to win it outright and everything is always a good thing. So we're excited. We didn't match up with the receivers. We knew it coming in. Um, you know, we had a, our best defensive back went down against Wesleyan and we lost one halfway through the game and we just knew we were going to struggle with matchups. And, and they found that, that matchup. I, I, you know, I thought we could match them up up front running the football and I, didn't, I thought we played well you know, against the run, but you know, we couldn't match up with the receivers. That's the bottom line. Ficosi, Tripp, um, Fick, and uh, Brian Wilson, those guys are great. They did a great job. And, and you know, that was a tough task. Obviously, Roberts is good, but their running backs ran really hard. So they were up to the challenge. Our defensive line was, and, and they made a lot of plays. That was really awesome to see. You know, we really focused on keeping our contain, keeping, you know, all our rush lanes consistent so that there weren't as many lanes for him to run through and to, you know, exploit plays and extend plays. Like, he actually did do it a couple times against us still, even though just because he's such a great athlete. But that's, you know, our main focus of it was just to contain him as much as we can and make him sit in the pocket and try to throw against us. We'll celebrate this one tonight, but uh, Monday morning we'll be focused on Augie and uh, we'll take care of business. You know, we got to finish it up, finish strong, get that playoff spot, get that undefeated conference record. You know, that's, that's our goal. And so we're not going to look past any opponent.